Hello, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, we're gonna be adding a post, uh, or otherwise known as a blog post, possibly. And a post is slightly different to a page in the way that it has a date on it and it can be put into categories. So it's perfect for a blog or anything similar like that, a news article area, or anywhere where you've got content that you're gonna be publishing on a regular basis. So let's take a look at posts. Okay, so I'm over on the uh, vanilla website that I'm using for all these videos and I'm already logged in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and click new and then post. And this is where we add our blog post. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned in the introduction, a blog post is, um, or a post I should say, is a more dynamic piece of content than a page. You know, you'd use your page for static elements on the website, uh, stuff that doesn't change very often, and use posts for things like news and blogging and articles and, and anything with a date. So uh, let's give this a name uh, similar to a page. So I'm gonna call this a uh, an example blog post by Alex. Uh, then in here, obviously very similar to um, the page, you start uh, entering your content. So that's where the content goes. I'm gonna paste some lorem ipsum, I've got plenty of that <laughs> Latin. Um, okay, and then if we scroll down, there's nothing else to look on this side. Um, on the right hand side, you've got different formats. And again, this depends on the theme you're using. Um, so for example, if you've got a video, you'd use that. When you select these things, sometimes depending on the theme, um, other boxes appear, um, but generally you're probably gonna be using the standard um, format. Now categories, blog posts, um, what makes them different to pages is that they can go in a category. Now a category is a great way of organizing posts. And obviously on the front end, someone can click on a category and see all the posts related to that um, category. So if we're gonna create a new category, I can click here, um, add new, and then I can enter a name. So maybe news, and there we go, and it's ticked the box to put this post within that category. Now, a post does need to go in a category, so if you don't create categories, it will put them all in uncategorized, which isn't particularly great to look at. So I really recommend that you use categories, and it's also great for things like related posts, uh, plugins, which I won't talk about in this video, but um, it then obviously knows which posts are related and, and does stuff like that, which is really cool. Tags, another way of grouping things together, slightly different to categories in the in fact, they're slightly looser and you can have more tags. So, um, you know, a post might only be in one or two categories, but it will have maybe 10, 11, 12 tags. So you just start typing them in here. Maybe it's about news, it's about iPhones, about apples, about pasta. Basically just tag it with words that you think are relevant. And again, it's useful for linking stuff together and for people to be able to browse your site. Now the featured image um, is the image that's gonna sit Again, depending on the theme, um, it often sits at the top of the post and also on the blog page. So let's set a featured image, just click set featured image and then you can upload a file from your computer. I've got one in my folder here, not that one. So you find it on your computer, there we go. It's a nice picture of a sunset. So I set that as my featured image. And then when we're all done, I can click publish. Now you can actually adjust the date here, so you could set it to a date in the past or you could set it to a date in the future. If you set it to a date in the future, it will automatically publish it on that particular date. So it's good for schedule, uh, scheduling up uh, content. Okay, let's have a look at it. So there's our blog post and it's got our featured image at the top. And there's our copy. And then people can leave comments at the bottom. As I mentioned, it puts the tags and things here and the categories so people can click on those to see you know, all the posts tagged with apples, etc. If we go on to our blog, we'll see uh, you know, there's our post there, and then there's our second post there. So uh, it's all, all looking good. I hope that was useful. And that concludes this video on adding a blog post. Obviously check out this playlist for more WordPress basics. And uh, if you like the video, please click like. I'll see you soon.